Hi guys, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive and I'm coming to you here with what I think is breaking news for Matterport users. And so as soon as I discovered this, I wanted to share it. And if you have already used this and had already discovered this, then please add some, you know, notes in the comments because I was I was talking to um, my friend and fellow Matterport nerd, uh, Dan Smigrod earlier today, um, he picked up on something that I had mentioned in the call, which was that I had used Cloud Restore to uh, actually import a model onto my iPad and then keep going with a scan. And uh, so I mentioned it sort of casually because it was something that I had Googled a couple days ago on December 6th when I was about to go out and do a scan, but I needed to transfer one model to another iPad so that I could have a photography assistant come with me and we could split up and tackle our commercial space together going to different floors, but we wanted to have the same 360s from a previous shoot. So I did a search just to refresh my memory on the best way to do it. Things change often. And what I got was I was led to a link on the Matterport website that surprised me because it was talking about restoring a model from the cloud and from your account in the app. And so this was something I had never seen before. And I either totally missed it or this is a new announcement that they are going to make and just haven't quite done it yet. But this is, I would say, huge news for anybody that uses Matterport and anybody that is involved in sharing spaces between teammates or even contractors or anyone else. This is a major game changer and a major upgrade. And also, sort of the quelling of a pain point that really affects all of us. So uh, what I'm going to share with you is the, uh, you know, is this news that Matterport Cloud Restore is here and they have now launched this on the app, which means anybody who has a Matterport account can go on and they will see two things. They'll see their jobs and their spaces. And if they go into spaces, they can actually click and drill down into that menu and then restore right from there. So here is the, uh, let's see here. Here is the, do, do, do. Here is the part that I'm talking about. So this is what I found online. And if you go to this, it is going to be in the notes. You can check out this post and you can see that it was actually last updated on December 6th. And so it just turns out that it was by coincidence that I was also looking for um, this content at the exact same time that it was updated on the website. So again, I don't know if this was a partial release, maybe in September, and they didn't completely roll it out, but now this seems to be working perfectly. And so I'm just gonna walk you through what I did um, to restore a space on my iPad. Now, this is an example where I'm doing it from, let me see if I can pause this. Um, where I'm doing it from an existing scan. So let's just back up just a second here. I'm gonna go back and start it from the beginning. So you can see here that if you look at the bottom, you can kind of see that there are jobs and there are spaces. And I recorded this from my iPhone just to make sure that there wasn't something that I was missing because maybe one of the models that I wanted to import was already on my iPad. But actually, this is a scan you can see from 2016, which means that if this is 2016, not only was this um, in my classic account, okay? Number one, I didn't have the um, new plan or the new pricing plan until 2019. And this was a Pro One model. So this was shot with a Pro One all the way back in 2016. And I shot this scan um, in 
a um, in Germany. And so this was not done on my iPhone. This was not done on anything uh, recent or current at all. So um, you can see, and we're just gonna watch the video here and you can get a sense of what is going on uh, as I restore this to, and in this case, my phone. So let's take a look. There we see restore job data. I click restore job data. It loads the space and then I can see that in fact, this is the model that I wanna bring back. It wasn't archived, which means that I was able to um, click into it on from the app. If it had been archived and I looked and I checked it, if it had been archived, I would need to unarchive it. I would need to reactivate and then I could actually from there um, then start this import process. Um, the import process, this is a scan of actually what was an outdoor space and I uploaded it a long time ago. I do not think that I have the raw data anymore on an iPad. So this is huge because it means that you can, if you've uploaded data from the app into the Matterport Cloud, Classic Plan, and I'm assuming New Plan as well, because I did it from New Plan from a client, uh, you, you know, before I went into the field on Tuesday. So um, this is going to be a huge game changer for you if you need to just store stuff, you need to free up space on your tablet or on whichever device you're using. It also means that thankfully Matterport did something that we can sort of all be happy about, which is that they are not putting up a paywall for this kind of access back to our own content. So that raw data is being restored. There have been so many workarounds done over the years from, you know, side loading and iExplorer and, uh, you know, iMazing. And it was an extremely cumbersome process when we were trying to restore data um, from existing scans over the past few years. But now this seems to actually resolve all of that. And I'm really excited to see what Matterport is going to say about this if they have a press release which they should have. And uh, again, like, I don't, I don't know, maybe I missed it, but uh, it's a little bit like, uh, this is sort of too big of news for anybody to just simply miss, right? Like, I feel like I would have seen it in the forums just like exploding as people ex uh, checked this out. So now you can see, like, I'm scrolling back onto my phone and ta-da, that is the um, space and it took a little bit more time for the space to actually um, update the scans, which is sort of this process, I think, of reading the data and calibrating it before you're able to access it again. And uh, what excited me about this beyond the fact that now I can um, get access to scans uh, from the past, but this scan in particular, look, I was hacking this because I wanted to create a, this is a 3D model I, I shot in Germany of a memorial actually to the um, kinder transport um, and to the, you know, the children that were transported uh, during the Nazi era to um, concentration camps. And so this is in Lovetzostrasse in Berlin. Um, and now if I were to in fact go back with the Pro 3 camera, I could theoretically add to the scan if I'm able to bring it back in um, and then uh, you know have it on my new device and then connect to the Pro 3 camera which is a pity because I was just in Berlin last week and uh, but I didn't have my uh, Pro 3 with me but I would have been happy to have actually attempted this because I think it would have proven that um, we are able now to modify scans bring them back, uh, seems like from classic, seems like from a uh, new plan, uh, seems like you can get as long as you have the login and you can get into all of the spaces, you're able to do this. Uh, now, I think that if you delete the app and you haven't uploaded the space, you will still lose your data. So make sure you always upload everything. And then even if you archive it, you can bring it back. But this should be a huge relief for every single Matterport user out there. And I feel like 
the vision for the Matterport cloud is absolutely, um, you know, coming forward in this new release and I'm so excited about it. So, uh, <laughs> I want to give Matterport just a huge thumbs up for doing this. And I feel like, um, you know, we are all, um, definitely, you know, reliant on Matterport and the team and the tech team there to keep pushing features to us that make our jobs easier and will help us scale. And this is certainly a major game changer. So um, good job, thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, this is certainly breaking news for me and I hope it was breaking news for you. And I hope that it helps you on your scan today or at some future point with your work. And thanks so much. And I hope to see you again soon.